Okay, right here, let me get a poker. Something to point with. This hole is the hole where you have to push. There's a little like button in there. When you turn the key to the on position, you actually have to put this car into park or the, it'll want to start. So put it in, not in park but neutral. You know, it won't start neutral. So you put it in neutral, the car, turn this to the on position, and then poke in here. You actually turn it to where you feel the spring spring action. Go ahead and see, see what I mean? Turn it, you'll feel that spring action in there. Yeah. So you kind of turn it and hold it where that spring action is, and push in that hole with a poker or a pick. I use a pick. I usually have picks or something like that in here. Like an old pick. This one's a pick that the tip broke off. Or you can use like an ice pick. And you just pick and poke into this hole here. Go ahead and turn it to where it springs and hold it. You'll feel a little spring action when you do it. You'll feel it in there. Okay, now pull out on the ignition. The whole thing. Pull out on it like you're going to pull it out. And it's still springing it forward. Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead and pull it out. Okay, push it in a little bit, push it in. Now turn it forward, or it's spring action. Yeah. Now pull it out. Did it come? Oh, it almost wanted to. Okay, so turn it again where it's spring action. Never let go. You kind of have to move it, back, rock it back and forth when you pull it out. There it goes. Now you turn it out. Well, it's a feel. It's one of those things that's hard for me to tell you. I have to just do it. <laughs> but you, you got it. So All it just right. popped right out. Okay, um, there's another technique. So we had the key, that's why we were able to turn it. What if you didn't have? The, what if you didn't have the key? You know what I mean? Just break it. Well, that's what the car thieves do. They definitely break it. Yeah. And that's the sidebar action lock. That's what locks it right there. And anyway, there's a code. If you look, there's a code right there, it's stamped in. Alright. See it? Alright, anyway, I'm going to put the camera back down. Wade's, Wade's trying it now. Yeah, you did it. Okay, it's out. So you did that. That's one of the basically the things you need to learn. Now what we have to do is figure out why the key won't come out. See, so it comes out. Oh, you know what it is? Mm. The ignition's good. There's a reason why it's not going all the way to the off position. So go ahead and put it back in. And we're going to try to figure out if we can get it to turn all the way to the off position. Maybe I just didn't do it right. Okay, go all the way off. Is it all the way off? Pull the key out. It must not be going all the way off. Unless you go. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. It was like we were maybe in an accessory. There could be something wrong with the um, steering column itself, with the inside. You got like. Huh. Uh, it is? Okay. All right, just zoom in. Zoom in right here. See where my finger is? How do you zoom in? Okay, there's a tension rod. How do you uh, zoom in your shit? Well, I don't necessarily, I don't mean zoom in, I guess. Just focus. All right. Is it zoomed in enough anyway? Can you see yeah, it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Um, well, go ahead and film me real quick. All right, you need this tension rod and a pick, and then come down here. The ignition. And you stick this where the tent, um, sidebar action is, on the lock, and you hold the tension. Okay, back up a little because I need to get in here. Take the pick and rake the wafers. You'll feel it spring loaded in there. You don't want to put too much tension. If you put too much tension, those, the wafers won't bounce around and you'll never get it picked. Are you recording? Yeah. Hold the tension light tension and rake 
the wafers back and forth. And you should feel the tension kind of slip in. It'll like you'll feel the like tension or the sidebar pop in when you get it. I felt it right there. I like to do it. I think I got half of it. Oh, there it, is. there it is. Okay, then I pull the tension on. I turn it a little bit, and then I get this key that's cut all the way um, on both sides. It has like I'll see. I guess they're probably like the deepest cuts you could make in the key all the way across on both sides. You stick it in, and that'll release. There's like a little booby trap in it, or a little catch, and then you can turn it forward. Then you put the car into neutral. Otherwise, it'll start. Unless you're stealing the car, then you want it to start. <laughs> but in our case, we're just trying to take it apart to make a key for it. Turn it all the way on and put this pick in there. Push on the button that's in there and kind of rotate it back. Pull the pick out and pull the cylinder out just like that. Get the cylinder. Cylinder's out. And now we look up the code, which the code was. Um, Zero W fifty six. Yeah. We'll look that up and cut the key. So go ahead and hit the pause, and then we'll come back. Uh -oh. Okay, we cut the key to code. The sidebar drops. Looks like it's good. Usually you'll try the key in the door. Make sure it works the door. And if it works the door, you know you got the right key. It's all on close up. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, you, you can't even see your face. <laughs> Well, did you know how to zoom back? Mm -mm. It's up here by your finger. What? This? Zooming back? Ah, haha. That's your view. Okay, let's film this again. We're doing it. Get me. The whole shot. Okay, we got the key. Put the key in, sidebar drops. So it's the right key. And then you might want to try the key in the door, make sure it works the door. And then if it works the door good, you know it's the right key. Stick the cylinder back in, turn it to the off position, and then pull the key out, and then try it. It works. In this case, this column is out of the car, so it's not starting, obviously, but normally that would start the car and you'd be on your way. You just have to put the plastic shroud back on. And um, the only thing I need to teach you now is how to cut the key by code on the HPC code cutter, which I will show you that on another lesson. But that's just the mechanical part of the GM, standard GM, from about 97 to 2007. Uh, 2008, I think it's similar, but it's a, maybe a little different. I haven't actually done one yet, so. Okay, go ahead and shut it off. Oh, right, here it is together. Let's see, can you zoom in on it? This is basically a standard General Motors from about 97 to 2008 or so. And, you know, they're all the same pretty much. This is what it looked like just before we took it apart. Let's key in it. All right, cool.